Honest, there's a lot of stories about the border. What did you want to tell that you felt was different with this particular film? When I started working on this project 10 years ago, my main interest was to make a movie that spoke both about migration, but also about this rhetoric of hatred that keeps being promoted in societies, this hatred towards foreigners, migrants. Oh, now you're catching on. It'd be interesting to do it through a genre film, a horror movie, because that way you don't try to rationalize with your audience, you just drag them and make them go through the horror. So I really, when I started it, the idea was to write something that maybe people would criticize as being far-fetched. The sad thing is that 10 years later, now that the movie's coming out in this electoral year, which has bombarded the country with so much hatred, I really don't think it's so far-fetched. I heard you talk about the film in the context of being a genre film, like Honus was talking about, and comparing it to action films in the 70s and 80s. And was that part of the appeal, was that it was kind of taking this genre approach to a social issue like this? Mm -hmm. And I always mention Rambo, but I don't know if mm -hmm. that... I haven't noticed your excitement when I mentioned that. No, Rambo, actually, you know? yesterday I was going to bring up, when you brought up that I keep mentioning Duel, because obviously to me that was the obvious reference, but... Maybe, yeah, it's interesting to see this here as, as a Mexican Rambo. <laughs> 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 Talk a little bit about the casting of uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He's not playing it as just this kind of stereotypical, kind of a redneck kind of character. He's got some charisma to him, which doesn't necessarily make him sympathetic, but he's an interesting character in a way that you don't normally expect in kind of a genre film like that. Jeffrey's character, whatever amalgam of justifications and mythology he has to justify his, his actions, uh, at the end of the day, what happens is that he's not seeing the other people as humans. Come on, Trevor. They can't go far. We'll get on the wall. It's very much this kind of two-character cat-and-mouse game that's going on, but the third character seems to be the desert itself. The movie's called Desierto because perhaps of all the three characters, the desert is the, the most important character. It's the battleground for this story. and. Uh, it was very tricky to film because, you know, in the desert you don't have that many hours where the light's decent. And when we did have decent light, we had to find a way to, to, to get all that plethora of frames. I think there's a couple times in the film where characters are told to hide. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking across that expanse of the frame and going, where? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the, the kind of the film exercise that he did with us. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the challenge, no? Like, uh, where do you hide in the desert? That could be a tagline. Well, thank you both very much for coming out here to San Diego and to KPBS. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.